Good morning, dear class two students. My name is Ms. Jemima, and today we are going to learn a very interesting lesson called the old rabbit. All right. But first of all, before we begin with the lesson, we are first going to acquaint ourselves with new words, the spellings, meanings, and how to make sentences out of these new words. All right. So the first word in the story, the first new word, is. Fair, F A I R. Fair. Now all of you, repeat it after me. F A I R. Fair. Okay. Spell it out again, all of you. F A I R. Fair. Now what do you mean by fair? Fair is a large place, all right, where there are many kinds of rides. And there are many games to play, and also there are small, small shops. Okay, and in these small shops, they sometimes used to sell toys and also um, many things to eat. All right. So, uh, would anyone like to make a sentence out of fair? Okay, first I'll do it. All right. Uh, this morning, my parents took me to a fair, and I played many games. All right. Now, who else would try to make sentence out of it? Okay. All right. Stand up, please. Okay. Now, I will come to you one by one. All right. Bef uh, before we uh, proceed to the next word, I want you all to close your eyes and let us spell fair again. F-A-I-R. Fair. Very good. Open your eyes. Okay. Now, the next word. The next new word that we are going to learn is giant, G-I-A-N-T, giant, wheel, W-H-E-E-L, wheel, giant wheel. What do you mean by giant wheel? Giant, giant means very big, large, okay, very big, okay, and wheel, the wheel of a bus or maybe a car, okay, giant wheel. Now, if you have gone to a fair, if you have been to a fair, there are many rides, isn't it? And giant wheel is a big wheel, all right? It is a big wheel and there are places to sit, okay? And it goes up and down and round like this, okay? A giant wheel, all right? So any one of you who have been to a giant wheel, raise your hands. Mm. Even I have been to a giant wheel. It is very scary, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Let's all spell it together. G-I-A-N-T. Giant. W-H-E-E-L. Wheel. Giant wheel. Now, who would like to make sentence out of giant wheel? Yes. Many of you are raising your hands. Okay. All right. Now, I will make a sentence first. Uh, there is a big giant wheel at the fair. Okay, very simple. There is a big giant wheel at the fair. Okay, I will come back to you one by one. Close your eyes again. Let's all spell it together. G-I-A-N-T. Giant. W-H-E-E-L. Wheel. Giant wheel. Very good. Okay, now the next word. The next word that we are going to learn is Hub, H U G G E D. Hub, hub, hub is when you know you put your arms around someone like this. You put your arms around like this. Okay, you hug a person. You hug another person. Yes. Okay. Hub. Let's spell it together again. H U G G E D. Hub. This morning, before I come to school, my mother hugged me. Okay, yes. Close your eyes. Let us spell hug. H-U-G-G-E-D. Hugged. Very good. Open your eyes. Now, I am going to ask you how to make sentence again later on. One by one, I will come to you. Okay. Mm. Now, the next word. Let us see the next word. The next word is rather. R 
A D H E R. Brother. Let's all spell it together. R A D H E R. Brother. What do you mean by brother? Brother means a little. Okay, a little. Brother means a little. This morning I was rather late to school. This morning I was a little late to school. Okay, yes. Mm. Who would like to make a sentence out of rather? Yes, you can all try. Very good. Okay, let's spell it together again. R A T H E R. Rather, a little. All right. The next word. Bumpy. The next word is bumpy. B U M P Y. Bumpy. What do you mean by bumpy? Bumpy is when, you know, um, supposing you walk on the road, okay? And uh, the road is very bumpy. It means it's up and down like this, okay? It's not smooth, all right? It's up and down. Bumpy means up and down, okay? Yes. Let's all spell bumpy again. B U M P Y. Bumpy. All right. Very good. Okay. Um, I'll make a sentence. It is a very bumpy road. Very simple, isn't it? It is a very bumpy road. Yes. Let's spell it again once more. B U M P Y. Bumpy. Very good. Okay. Now. The next word is mind. M I N E. Mind. I'm sure all of you must must know this meaning. Mind, isn't it? M I N E. Mind. It's very simple. Mind means something which belongs to us. Something which belongs to me. Something which belongs to you. For example, this book. This book belongs to me, isn't it? This book is mine. Okay, this book is mine. This marker is mine. Alright, yes. Who would like to try? Make sentence out of it? Mm, okay, good. Very good. Let's spell it together again. M-I-N-E. Mine. Very good. Now the second last word. There are only two words left now. Alright, the second last word. What is it? For a while. F O R. For a W H I L E. While. For a while. For a while. For a while means for a little time. Okay, for a very little time. For a while. F O R. For a a W H I L E. While. For a while. For a little time, it means. Okay, I'll make a sentence. My parents are going to Delhi and I will stay with my grandparents for a while. My parents are going to Delhi and I will stay with my grandparents for a little time, for a little while. Okay, yes. Alright. Now the last word. The last word for today is cross. C R O S. As cross. What do you mean by cross in this story? Cross. Cross means angry. Okay, angry. Now, supposing I make a sentence and I say, I broke my friend's toy and my friend is very cross at me. I broke my friend's toy and my friend is very angry at me. Cross. Okay, yes. Alright, let's spell it once again. C R O S S cross very good okay later i am going to ask you the spellings and also the meanings again all right so this is how we do before we start any lesson we used to first familiarize ourselves with new words and the meanings the spellings and how to make sentences out of it then only after this we proceed to reading the lesson all right thank you so much